Ah, oh, what a nice peaceful day of gorilla tag. I can just do some branching, just casually walk around and just play. This day is so nice. No, no, no! Where, 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 where am I? What happened? I just fell. I just fell through the floor. Wait. What's that? What? Waterbiter hasn't uploaded in that long? What the hell is he doing? Oh nah. Hello guys. So as you as you have seen, I haven't uploaded in almost a week. What the hell has been happened? What what happened to me? Well, I had a lot of tests in school and stuff like that. But now I should have some more time to upload. So yeah, uh, this will be a short video. I'm just teach you how to warm the slippery walls. Now, I'm no Pepsi D or TTT pig, but I can warm the slippery walls pretty good. So what you do, I always like to start here. This is where I first learned it. Went like this, and then just start wall. I messed up so bad. Just go here. Just normal wall running. It's literally all I do. But the way I do it. On normal wall C, you can you just do it like this. You hit it. You basically you hit it so weak. You just barely move your hand, right? On the slippery walls, it's it's the exact opposite. You hit as not as hard as you can, but you hit hard like this. And that's how you do it, but on normal walls you can do it slow. On slippery walls, you can do it kind of slow. But see, I just, I cannot do it like that. The way I do it is, I don't only hit fa hit hard, but I hit fast too, like this. Oh, ah, no, no! Oh, I saved myself. Okay, like this. Like this. And that's how I do it. So, just add those two together and then practice till you can just wall run them. And this is a pretty good spot to start learning it. When you have learned it, then try to learn it in this spot. And that's, that's how you slippery wall run. You can do it with your left hand too. I'm pretty bad at it with my left hand, but yeah. Next will be slippery wall climbing. Wall climbing, I think it was called wall climbing, I still haven't remembered it. It's basically this. You can do it on slippery walls too, like this. How I do it, it's kind of hard to explain. Look, I don't even have to do it fast. I can do it super slow. How I do it, I do on normal walls, you go like this. On slippery walls, you go like this. You move your hands, full range of motion. You can go fast too, but just remember full range of motion. Move your hand as far as you can. And try to like move with your whole body. That would be way easier. At least that's how I learned it. It took me like 10 minutes to learn this, so it shouldn't be that hard for you either. And yeah, you see you stick on them. So you're not even hard to stay on the debris walls. And it's, it's just all about practice. And then how to do a slip slap. Normally you would just go here, slippery walls, slip slap. But the slippery walls are not that slippery, you cannot do that anymore. But there's those walls up there. So you get to those walls and you cannot go up, at least I, didn't, I haven't done it. But you can go sideways like this. And I'm going to show you how to do it right now. But it's pretty hard getting up there, so I might have to get the rock monkey boost, but I'm going to keep trying. As you see, I'm not that good with slippery walls. I'm going to try it over here. And I just went all the way to over here. Let me try that again.
Oh, messed it up. Now I went really far. So that's how you do a slip slap. Just keep practicing. Getting up there is that's the hard part. It already got me so tired. But yeah, yeah the best spot is to do it is uh, just here. You go here and you start from here. Wall run and then just hit and I messed it up. But yeah, it's all about practice. Keep practicing. You'll be able to learn it soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>